and welcome back to the show. We are in the Showcase Kitchen this morning, cooking up one of Fall's favorite meals. The third annual Chili Cook-Off takes place tomorrow at Midtown Global Market. And here with a tasty preview is last year's champion, the winner, the man himself, Jamal Hashi from Safari Express. Hello, Jamal. Welcome back to the show. Great to see you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations back. on the crown. I mean, that's that's amazing that, that, you, that you took the time to come back, and he's going to show us his secrets. All but one, he says, but I think i gotta, I got to handle on what it is. Hey, let's talk about your restaurant, Safari Express, at the Midtown Global Market. You brought some meals with you today, and uh, tell us what's on the menu down there. Well, we have a lot of great uh, menu, actually, items that people can come out and try out. Mm -hmm. um, some of the dishes that I brought out today for you guys here, mm -hmm. we have... Let's start the, it right down here. Excellent. That's uh, actually our beef curry that we have at the restaurant, mm -hmm. and um, it has a great flavor into it, and, you know, the beef and... This, Oh, yeah. And the rice that comes on the side of it, it's amazing yeah, rice, yeah. too, as well. That's the East African rice. Okay, so this is East African cuisine, pretty this much? Is, this is an East African okay. cuisine. All right, and next it looks like a, is it a pasta dish? No, that's actually handmade noodles that we make at the restaurant. It's called keke. Well, what's the difference between that and pasta? Well, uh... There is? There, there is a big difference? A big is there a difference. texture, like a texture thing? Yeah, you got, we got, actually, this thing here. That we, looks like something I would love. That looks like love it's that. got some stick-to-the-ribs kind of gusto to it. That is a vegetarian dish, too, believe it, it is. or not. It's oh, amazing. Wow. That looks absolutely wonderful. Down here, does it look like vegetarian? looks like chicken? Yep, that's actually one of the dishes that I made here when we came here last time. It's the chicken fantastic. Okay, That's all right. one of our most number one selling dish at the restaurant. Very cool, very cool. Okay, let's talk about the chili cook-off. You're, you're last year's champion, yeah. and uh, you brought some hardware with you down here, too. Okay. And, and while you tell us about the chili cook-off, what, what's the hardware we're going to be looking at? Well, this, this is, is some is... of the, actually uh, my championships that I won for over the last uh, <laughs> three years. <laughs> you don't want to brag or anything. <laughs> That's great. I'm not trying to. What we got here is the uh, mm -hmm. you know the two year chili contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and also my. Uh, get, we got to get that. There's a good <laughs> shot of that too. Well, tell us about the chili cookout. How many people are going to be cooking, and how many people did you beat last year? Will it be the same? Uh, same number. I think this year is going to be a little bit big, big, you know, a little bit more number. Actually, we're going to have over 15 or 16 participants. Okay. I believe. And, All right. Uh, so, so this is no easy thing. No, definitely and, not. Well, let's get to not. cooking. What are some of your secrets, and what type of chili did you win it with? Is this well, the same? Are, are you going to make your award winning chili today? No, this is going to be that. Actually, the Nomad Chili. This is a new one. This is a new one. Why are you going to mess with perfection, man? Well, I thought I you just won myself, it last year. Why I thought I'd just give okay. myself a new challenge. You are brave. You know? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So what we're going to start with here, actually, is... Uh, we got know, three we have, minutes. Will we be we able to do it in three yeah, minutes? Definitely. Okay. definitely. Okay. We're going to try it throw it in three minutes. We got, all, actually, we got uh, all sesame. Oh, sesame. Oh, sesame. Okay. So all that's right. the big secret right here. I can't believe so we get that. And we're going to have this recipe online, too, I think. So So right after that, we throw in our onions. Okay. We got onions. Nice hot pan. Yep. Very hot. Garbanzos. Garbanzo beans. Hey, let's one of these before you put these in. That's our uh, red lentils, actually, that we have. Red lentils. Yep. Okay. That All we right. have. We're going to throw that in later on after we okay. throw in our spinach. Okay. Know, throw in our spinach. All right. Spinach. All our vegetables first at once. Okay. So why is that? Is that to infuse the flavors together? Or? Exactly. Actually, a lot of chefs are wondering, why is he doing that probably right now? Mm -hmm. But this is how it started off. Okay. And this is a big secret right here. So okay. we'll get all that kicking in. All right. We have our uh, fava beans that we already made. Fava beans. Yeah. Be great with a Chianti. Definitely. There you mm -hmm. go. Now we start out with our spices. So I'm going to actually let you do it. Okay. All there right. You go. I'm, I'm a spice guy. And this, uh, here, this is actually our uh, homemade mix that we make at Safari. This no, you don't put the whole thing in no, there. No, no, okay, no. We'll like, do a half a spoon. Like, ha like half that a spoon. much? Definitely. There we go. Okay. Throw all that right. In there. All right. There. Throw cumin in there for me. A little cumin. About the same amount. About the same so amount. About the same amount. All these spices. Okay. There we go. All right. He was such up. a great Throw flavor. Throw in the chili. A full spoon. A full spoon. Yep. Crushed chili. How's that? There we go. It might be cold this weekend. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> add that on there. All right. Throw a little bit of this on there. Okay. Is, this, uh, is it white and black pepper or just black? White oh, and black pepper. That much? Yep. There okay. we go. All, All right. Spoon. And then we slowly stir this right away. Okay. Looks like you have some stock over here. The stock we have here is vegetarian, actually. It's, vegetarian? Uh, yeah, okay. vegetarian stock. All right. So it's two cup full. All right. Throw it in there, buddy. put that in there? Just Let's like that? It. Okay. Bang, bang. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> see any meat, so it is a vegetarian chili. It is chili. a vegetarian chili, and this okay. is the thing I'm going to beat the people with. Okay. So after we get this to boil up, mm -hmm. say about 10 minutes, then we throw in our cream. Afterwards. Okay. This is it right actually, here? Yeah, actually, right, we throw it in. That. So it's oh, a white chili. That, yeah, mm -hmm. actually, it, uh, it becomes, we have the final product right here. For everybody to see. You do? Where is it? There it is. Bam. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that. I don't know if we're going to get an overhead, but I'm going to hold it right there, and we're going to get a shot. There it is, and I'm going to tip it down here. Look at that. That is Jamal. your final product. 
And then we, we eat with that is actually one of our East African breads. Let's, you know what? Mm. You hold that. I'm going to hold up this East African bread. And we've only got about 15 seconds. Quickly explain what this is. This is an East African bread called injera. Many Minnesotans are experiencing this actually for the first time in uh -huh. here because of the large influx of East African bread. And you television. serve this at we Safari Express. We have this Express. at the Safari Express. It's, it's an incredible bread. You can also buy it in the global market. And you got to serve this with that chili. You're going to win. You're going back to back tomorrow. I can feel it. Bang, bang, bang. I can bang. feel it. You're there going you go. back to back. Good Thank luck you. to you tomorrow. Thank Thanks you, for friend. coming Thank in. You. Definitely. You bet. For a copy of today's recipe, send a self addressed stamped envelope to the address on your screen right there. Or log on to showcaseminnesota.com, click on recipes, then go to the main dish category. For more delicious dishes, stop by the Global Chili Cook Off. It takes place tomorrow from noon to 2 at Midtown Global Market in Minneapolis. For details, check out showcaseminnesota.com and click on the Friday link. It's free, but they're taking donations.